Hey, what's up guys? Cameron here with CJR Performance, and today we're gonna to be talking about the DinoJet PowerVision 3, or PV3 for short. And we have our test bike here, it is a Honda Monkey, and we just installed a Coastal 170cc big bore kit on there uh, with a DCR R2 cam, so we're gonna do some tuning and get this map dialed in for a customer. Um, as far as the PV3 goes, one thing to note is it is gonna be the same process for all the bikes. So whether you have a Monkey, a CRF 110, a Grom, Yamaha R6, a Honda Pioneer, uh, Can-Am, anything that they have tunes available with the PV3, uh, we're gonna be walking through the same steps. So, um, well, you know, we can do an unboxing real quick, actually. Uh, you do have some sticky mounts, some alcohol to clear up your, your surface for the sticky mounts, some DinoJet stickers, your installation kit, um, USB cable, and your product registration card. So, the other pieces, obviously your DinoJet PV3, and your diagnostic cord. This one on the Honda Monkey and most of the Hondas, except the new ones, the new ones are using a six pin, these are using a four pin. Located on the left side of the bike, just like the CRF 110. The Honda Grom is on the right side under the seat and the CRF 125F, I believe, is also under the right side. So diving in, the very first thing I do when I get a PV3 is I go ahead and check for a firmware update. So we gotta go to DinoJet's website and dinojet.com dash downloads dash PowerVision 3. All of this is also available on our website if you go up to Tech Data DinoJet Setup Guide. This is gonna be kind of a video walkthrough as it is a little easier for some guys. But um, one of the things to note, as you can see, you go down to firmware. There's firmware for different models. And now the neat thing is, is I can take the same PV3, flash in the firmware for say, the Yamaha or the Kawasaki. And as long as I have the Kawasaki diagnostic port, I can then go flash my Kawasaki. So I think it's a very underrated flash tool. Um, pretty neat that's come to the market here within the past couple of years. So one thing I do need to note with the DinoJet PV3 is that each bike you connect to and you wanna flash, you do have to pay a license fee per ECU. So the DinoJet PV3 comes with one free license. It locks to this ECU, it locks to this bike. Um, I can now view all of my data and channels, but say I wanna take this off, put it on our CF110 or our um, our Honda Pioneer or Talon, I do need to purchase a new license file for that. Yeah, moving forward, the first thing we're gonna do is a firmware update. Right. Go ahead and open the file explorer, open PV info, and up here we have our firmware version, which is 5.12. Go over to the downloads and it looks like 5.14 is the most current. So we're gonna download this file. We're gonna drag this file onto the power vision and not into the pv info so you drop it in the pv info it's just gonna be in the wrong folder and you won't be able to find it so now once it completes we'll can click on that power vision we see it's right here pv3 5.14 now we're going to go ahead and for this process you don't have to be connected to the bike i just happen to be it's a a little bit simpler for everything we're doing. We're gonna go down to, I'll show you actually the, this is gonna be your back button. This is your enter button, up, down, and this is your record button for data logging. So we're gonna hit enter. We're gonna go down to vehicle tools, or I'm sorry, device tools. You know, scroll all the way down to update device. And there is our update file. This will take a minute, so I'm gonna go away for just a second, and then I'm gonna show you. Okay, so just finished up with the update. So it's ready to flash. And we're gonna go ahead, and when I go to flash tune the very first time, you can see there's a lot of files in here. Um, it's not until I turn the key on does the bike actually recognize the ECU. You can see there's a little X there that just turned to two arrows. The X means it is not connected or talking to the ECU. When the arrows are there, these two are connected. So now that uh, we are connected, all those other tune files go away and it shows us just the tune file available for this bike. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna flash in the STK file. And this will take just a second. We're gonna fast forward through this. Our stock flash is finished up. We're gonna key off, key back on. I'm gonna go ahead and enter. Now, from here, this is where you access your DinoJet tunes. We click this PV info here. We're gonna go up to, again, this is on our, our website. So if you want, you can just scroll down and 
Oh, it's in here somewhere. I guess I need to make that hyperlink. So, go to DinoJet Tunes. Now, click here to download files. I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to hit Browse. I'm going to go and pull up my PV3. Again, this does have to be connected to the computer. We're going to double click that PV info and then hit submit. So this gives you access to DinoJets files. This is all the tunes available for the monkey. It looks like there's two pages worth. And then if we have a tune, which we have a ton of maps for, we got a little carried away with these things. You'll just need to email that same file, that PV info there to our email address, the CJR performance LLC at gmail.com. So, so once you get an email back from us, after you submit that PV info, you're gonna go ahead and download it from your email. Don't just drag it from the email onto the PowerVision. I don't know why, but I have had some corrupt files doing that. So make sure you save it to your desktop first. Now, actually I didn't save it to my desktop, it's in my downloads folder. So I'm gonna drag this from the downloads folder down into my PowerVision, which I already have the tune file on there. With the tune loaded into the PV3, we can go ahead and flash that file that we had downloaded from the computer into the bike. And as you see, it says not paired. So this is the first time pairing process that this ECU is connected to the PV3. We're gonna hit accept, delete all incompatible files. That means if there's any other files on there, say for the Grom 110, et cetera, um, it will delete those. So it's just gonna allow Honda Monkey files on here unless I drop more on. Uh, I do wanna go ahead and keep them on there. You guys don't have to. It's uh, not something that's necessary, but uh, let's see. Flash ECU with select a file, hit yes. And now we're on our way to having a spec map for this bike. And really from there, that's about everything that you need to know for getting, uh, getting your, your DinoJet PV3 flashed into your bike. Um, as you upgrade tunes, just send us an email. We do have a spot on our website. I'll show you that up here for a tune request form. And again, this is for the customers that are purchasing the PV3s from us. You know, tune update, you just go down to DinoJet PV3. You'll submit your new modifications, and then we'll email that tune back over to you. So this helps us keep track of tunes as well. And if you've not bought the PV3, maybe you're already an owner, that's okay. We do sell tunes separately as well. So just send us an email, we can get you set up. Something to mention on these as well is you can keep a lot of tune files on these. Um, I don't know exactly how many. I've had as many as you know, 25, 30, 35, 40, somewhere in there. Um, but it's great for maybe you want different fuel, fuel maps. Maybe you want an E85 map, maybe you want a you know, some BP racing fuel, MR12 or T4 or something along those lines. It'd be very simple to swap over to your different fuel map. You would just follow the same process. Hey, I just put in some VP race fuel. Uh, CJR has a spec map for it. I emailed them, I put the file on here. You would have maybe three or four files. Um, maybe you have a baffle, maybe you want a baffle map or, you know, different intake map, something to kind of change the profile a little bit. We started playing with these adjustable cam sprockets quite a bit on the minis, so we'll probably have some spec tunes for those as well. So that way you guys can go and rip the tight tracks, maybe have an outdoor track the next round, go ahead and flash your ECU, make a couple changes, and you have something that's a little more fitting personality-wise for the outdoor track. Um, I hope this clears up some confusion on the DinoJet PV3, helps walk you guys through the flash process, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and I hope you guys enjoyed.